Randall Lee Smith, The Murder at Appalachian Trail The famous Appalachian Trail is 2,193 miles long and spans 15 states. Every year, an estimated 3 million people hike some portion of the Appalachian Trail. However, according to Appalachian Trail Conservancy, just over 3,000 attempt to hike the entire 2,193 miles, with an estimated 1 in 4 actually completing the trail from end to end. The tragic incident happened when in May of 1981, Maine-based social workers Laura Susan Ramsey and Robert Monfort Jr., both 27, were hiking the Appalachian Trail. On May 19, the pair were cold-blooded murdered and their bodies were hidden at the Wapiti Shelter in Giles, Virginia. When authorities finally captured the killer from fingerprints found on a book of Ramsey's at the scene. A chillingly note found in the ashtray of killer's truck read, this boy and girl have been so nice to me. It is going to be a real shame when the time comes to get rid of them. Welcome to Spider Stories. We bring you true stories every other day that are guaranteed to send chills down your spine. From stories of restless spirits to encounters with otherworldly beings, you will be captivated by these pulse-pounding narratives. So buckle up because these stories will keep you on the edge of your seat. 27-year-old Robert Mountford Jr. and 27-year-old Laura Susan Susu Ramsey, who were both social workers, traveled from their hometown in Maine to Virginia to hike a portion of the Appalachian Trail in May 1981. They planned the hike as a way to raise money for a school run by Mountford's mother, which served children with developmental challenges. While on the trail on the evening of May 19, 1981, Mountford and Ramsey shared a meal with another hiker, Randall Lee Smith, at the Wapiti Shelter in Giles, Virginia. Smith attacked both of his dinner companions as soon as they finished their meal. After shooting Mountford in the head with a .22 caliber pistol, he struck Ramsey with a piece of iron before stabbing her multiple times with a knife. Thereafter Randall Lee Smith dragged the bodies away from the shelter, placed them in their sleeping bags, and buried them in shallow graves. Fewer than two weeks after the hikers were reported missing, authorities found a gruesome scene at the Wapiti shelter. In addition to blood between the shelter's floorboards, they found a camera with the film removed and a book Ramsey had planned to read during the trip. Forensic examination of the evidence found at the scene revealed a bloody fingerprint found on the book, which led authorities to Smith. A subsequent search of Smith's home revealed several items, including a blood-soaked pair of blue jeans that were determined to have belonged to Robert Mountford Jr. and Laura Susan Ramsey. Although Smith had fled the state after committing the murders, he was eventually arrested in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He initially claimed he had amnesia and did not know who he was or why he was in South Carolina. However, after being extradited back to Virginia, he simply said he did not want to discuss the murders. Despite having a great deal of evidence against Randall Lee Smith, prosecutors were unable to establish a motive because they were concerned that their case was not strong enough to guarantee a conviction. With the agreement of Robert Mountford Jr. S. and Laura Susan Ramsey's families, Smith was ultimately offered a plea agreement. He subsequently pleaded guilty to two counts of second-degree murder and was sentenced to 30 years in prison. From where he was released in 1996 after serving only 15 years. However, despite the calm behavior and good rapport Smith could not stay away from his lust for murder. In early 2008, Smith went into the woods along the Appalachian Trail again. And on May 8, 2008, Sean Farmer and Scott Johnston who were camping at Walnut Flats on the Appalachian Trail were approached by Smith who introduced himself as Ricky Williams. Farmer and Johnston invited the man to join them for dinner. However, they had no idea they were spending the evening with a convicted killer. At some point during the evening, Randall Lee Smith abruptly pulled out a .22 caliber revolver and shot Sean Farmer and Scott Johnston. Although each man had two serious gunshot wounds, they both survived the harrowing ordeal. Meanwhile Smith fled the scene in Johnston's Ford Ranger pickup truck. However, he was eventually spotted by a Virginia state trooper. Amid the ensuing chase, Smith crashed and overturned the truck. While in the hospital, he was arrested and charged with two counts of attempted murder. Smith was subsequently transferred to the New River Regional Jail Medical Unit. 
However, he died shortly after of a suspected blood clot related to the injury sustained in the accident. He was 54 years old. So, what do you guys think was wrong with Randall Smith? Do share your thoughts down in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to stay tuned for more true stories.